What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Let the games begin. Welcome to the opening day of play at the U.S. Open. The U.S. Open is underway with some familiar faces in action on day one. Melanie Udan was America's golden girl at the 2009 U.S. Open, knocking off Elena Dementieva, Maria Sharapova, and Nadia Petrova en route to the quarterfinals. Today, Udan opened the action on Arthur Ashe Stadium and nearly produced a golden set in reeling off nine straight games to roll to a 6-3, 6-0 route of Olga Savchuk. The world number 43 did not drop a point in the second set until the fourth game and permitted only two points in the 18-minute set. Pointing out Cinderella's stories only occur once in a career, Udan says she knows repeating her success will be a challenge, particularly with 29th seeded Alona Bondarenko looming as her second round opponent. Udan said, everyone has one Cinderella story, and mine was last year. Now it's like everyone just expects me to do that because I did it last year. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to happen. I mean, I'm going to have to play well. It's not just going to happen for me. I'm going to have to play well and fight hard like I did last year. One change from last year is evident on her Adidas shoes. Udan wore the word believe on her shoes at last year's Open and has replaced it with the word courage this time around. I wasn't trying to just go completely away from the whole belief thing. I was just adding something else that I think you have to do in order to believe. Have courage when you play. Sanya Mirza played through qualifying to reach the main draw of the major for the first time in her career and swept Michelle Larcher de Brito 6-3, 6-2 to score her fourth consecutive victory. Mirza, who was missed several months with a wrist injury, said her marriage to Pakistani cricket star Soaie Malik in April prompted her to ponder her tennis career. Mentally, I think it's much harder to come back than it is physically, Sania said. I don't have to come back, but the desire is still there because I love tennis. I love competing and I love the challenge. Tennis is part of my life, it's not my life. Currently ranked at number 159, Sania has not competed a full season since 2007 when she concluded the season ranked number 32. The fact that her husband is an athlete has helped her in her last comeback. And during the wedding itself where Sania says nearly 5,000 guests attended the reception, a standing room only crowd compelled the bride and groom to stand for several hours to greet guests. It was more than five hours standing on a stage greeting the guests, Sania said. Close to 5,000 people were at the main reception. At the wedding itself, there were only about 50 people, just my family and his family. Conditions could be a factor as the forecast calls for temperatures in the low 90s for at least the first four days of play. Hall of Famer Martina Navratilova and Yonkers native James Blake will participate in the opening night ceremonies with performance by Gloria Estefan. Tuesday night's schedule will feature the two top seeds in action as Rafael Nadal plays at 7 p.m., followed by Caroline Wozniacki against American Chelsea Gullickson. Well, that wraps us up for today. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter as the matches go on. I'm Lauren Linton. This is Tennis Now. See you tomorrow.